Hello and welcome to Oskaloosa Today. I'm Matt Freeman. On this episode, you'll get an in-depth look at the Oskaloosa shooting team as they take aim at a national championship. You'll also find out why Oskaloosa is becoming a hotbed for young marksmen and women, and why for these young shooters, hitting their target is only the beginning. Here is Ready, Aim, Fire, the Oskaloosa shooting team. On any nice day in Oskaloosa, if you travel east to the Isaac Walton shooting range, you will no doubt find Ryan Smithart. For him, each time he shoulders his gun is a new opportunity. A measured, highly calibrated, routinely practiced exercise in patience, precision, and poise. As each target is released, his mind whirls. See this it's starting to go down right at this point. Focus Follow the flight path and the same to It's a mental test administered in milliseconds. The Oskaloosa High School senior is one of the most decorated young shotgun shooters in Iowa and is consistently ranked in the top 10 nationally. He practices tirelessly and shoots hundreds of targets a day. There's nothing like the feel of hitting a target. I'm gonna hit it, it's gonna break right there. The crumbled orange clay targets that litter the range are a testament to the work ethic of the young Oskaloosan. And he's not alone. Meet the Oskaloosa shooting team. Since 2007, middle and high schoolers in Oskaloosa have been honing their shotgun marksmanship under the watchful eyes of Ryan's dad, Larry Gay, and father of two shooters on the team, Steve Heaton. Under the coaches, the team has grown from meager beginnings. The first year, you know, was new, and I think we had 14 kids. Oh, it's grown in leaps and bounds. Now there's 48 shooters on the team, and over the past few years, it's quietly become one of the best in the state. You know, they've been part of, uh, well, three uh, state championship teams and hopefully a fourth this year. The team has also become a regular fixture in the top rankings of the National Scholastic Clay Target Program. But for the coaches, recognition and scoreboard success take a back seat to respect and safety. We, we win by getting compliments at each tournament we go to about how safe the kids are and how well they act, how polite they are. You know, that's that's what we're, that's what I like seeing, you know, make, making adults out of them. It's really important to me that the kids represent their town as well as themselves and their, their parents. Uh, it's really important to us. The local Pheasants Forever chapter helps fund the team, which is a good thing seeing as they'll shoot more than 100,000 shells before the end of the summer. We believe the kids are our future. And of course, Pheasants Forever's new logo being um, No Child Left Indoors, uh, we want to make sure those kids have opportunities to enjoy our outdoors because it's not just the kids, it's the family. Mark's son Nick is on the team, which is the biggest in the state to shoot all three shotgun disciplines, trap, skeet, and sporting clays. Trap shooting is when the clay discs are thrown straight away from the shooter from one central location. Shooters rotate through five different stations and vary their distances from the targets. Skeet shooting uses eight different shooting locations, including right in the middle of the half arc shooting area. Clay targets are released from a high and low house positioned on the edges of the shooting arc. Sporting clays takes shooters away from the traditional shooting range and sends them into the elements. You don't know, there'll be trees, there'll be down creek lines, they'll be out in the wide open, downhill, uphill. It, I call it the honest man's sport because right when you think you're getting good and hitting them all, they're going to throw a target at you, it's going to make you miss. With high hopes, the Oskaloosa shooting team kicked off their 2011 season with a practice fun shoot on a blustery Sunday afternoon in early March. A chance for young shooters to get familiar with their guns, their coaches, and their teammates. Within an hour, you've seen the older kids talking with the younger kids and the younger kids asking the older kids questions. You know, that, that's kind of what we build on is you know, the team aspect of it. Everywhere we go, uh, people, other teams, coaches say to us, I can't believe how your young kids and older kids get along. From day one, it's clear that safety is the most important aspect of practice. It's also clear the notion that target shooting is a man's game is a thing of the past. When we go to competitions, there's a whole bunch of girls at different shoots. 
So I'd say it's half as much of a girl sport as a boy. Look at the Olympics because there are a lot of girls in the Olympics and girls just shoot as well as guys do. As winter turned to spring, the youngest shooters on the team started to heat up. The new kids, seeing them hit their first target and a smile come on their face, because when they, after they hit that first target and they smile, you know, they're hooked. With a team of 50 shooters, Larry and Steve rely on a team of adult helpers and encourage the older shooters to take up a mentoring role. Helping them with what the leads are, the stance, um, just trying to make sure, you know, joking around with them to make sure they're all fun, you know, and loose, but uh, um, just, you know, the focus part is really important. Everyone, everyone really helps each other out. They don't, they don't just care about themselves. They, they, uh, they want to make everyone better because, you know, in this sport, your team is, however it finishes, is how you finish. Ryan is like most high school shooters on the team, balancing schoolwork with about a hundred other activities. And his extracurriculars, even taken from the athletic, to the artistic. Originally, I always just wanted to play the fiddle. And uh, a lot of the movies we watch, uh, cowboy movies, and everything and I, I always just wanted to play the fiddle and I also want to play the banjo and I haven't learned that yet but I'm gonna learn how to play the banjo. For now he'll stick to playing the violin and viola at Sunday morning church services. After weeks of practice the first major tournament of the year is in sight. The young shooters are traveling west to the new pioneer gun club in Waukee to compete against five other teams in skeet and sporting clays. It'll be the first chance for the team to put their practice to the test and see how they stack up against the competition. For many of the young shooters, this will be their first time ever competing. There's, there's a pretty good crowd there, so when they get their name called and they get up there, they are really nervous. We're shooting against uh, one of the best programs anywhere in the Midwest. Uh, it's like I tell them, hey, let's go out, let's have some fun. The last event of the tournament features Oskaloosa's top team of Steve's son Alex Heaton, Brandon Strasser, and Ryan Smithart on the Sporting Clays course. The score to beat is 125 out of 150 by the Des Moines area Clay Crushers. You six guys can tear this course up. I mean tear it up. But what do you got to think about? How are you going to break that target? Break point, flight path, stance. Those are the three things you got to do, and you will tear it up. We're ready. Go get them. The team starts slowly, missing some of the very first targets. I, I think there's a little early, early season jitters. During the competition, coaches are not allowed to help their shooters. Now is when the team aspect of shooting comes into play. The shooters relay information about the location of the targets, the best time to fire, and most importantly, they keep each other mentally focused. Uh, the mental aspect of shooting is tremendous. Um, that's that's uh, probably 90% of winning. The main thing with these kids, if they start seeing them get down on themselves because they've dropped a few targets, is to get them to smile again. You know, I always tell my boys, if you're mad, you miss. On this course in Waukee, many of the targets are thrown from hidden locations, and the discs can reach speeds of 50 miles per hour. As onlookers swarm behind them, the team begins to hit its stride, picking off one target after another. Out of way. But will it be enough? In the varsity division, first place is Oskaloosa with Brian Smithart, Alex Eaton, and Brandon Strasser. The top varsity squad pulled out the victory with a sizzling 136 out of 150 targets. The varsity squads also finished second and third in the skeet competition. All in all, the Oskaloosa shooting team claimed the majority of the awards with 16 third or higher finishes. Everyone done a great job. 
He really did. We, we've had very little practice time and uh, we got a lot of stuff to work on. We can't help you out there. So you got to remember how to place your feet, your hold point, very little gun movement, stuff like that. But overall, you all done a really a fine job. Now the team's in the final stretch of the season and it's clear that the newer shooters on the team. You're liking this, aren't you? Yeah. Are coming into their own. We got some really good young kids coming on. Um, I know we're losing three seniors, I believe, this year. So it's kind of a setback because they're, they're very good shooters. A lot of these kids that are just starting out, thanks to the team, uh, geez, they're doing as good in their first year shooting as I was doing in my fifth or sixth. We'll be really tough for years to come. But Larry knows the future success for all the shooters on the team, young and old, is based on one key factor. As, as we go to the, the state tournaments and the national tournaments, uh, the main thing that, that I push is desire. The mindset is, I'm going to break them all, I'm going to do my best. You cannot win at a high level if you don't want to win and you don't expect to win. And if everyone just performs to the level they're capable of and everyone helps each other to perform to that level, I honestly think we can win uh, the national championship. For now, Ryan and his teammates will continue to take things one shell one target, one shot at a time. And if their desire and hard work come together just right, they may soon find themselves taking aim at history. The team only has a few more weeks of practice before they head to the state tournament in Waukee, May 22nd and 23rd. Then in July, it's off to Sparta, Illinois to compete in the National Scholastic Clay Target Program National Championship. I encourage you to find some time to come see these young shooters in action and support all of your local sports teams. Thank you for watching Oskaloosa Today. I'm Matt Freeman. It'll be the first chance for the team to put their practice to the test and see how they stack up against the competition. For many of the young shooters, this will be their first time ever competing. There's, there's a pretty good crowd there, so when they get their name called and they get up there, they are really nervous. We're shooting against uh, one of the best programs anywhere in the Midwest. Uh, it's like I tell them, hey, let's go out, let's have some fun. 